Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So, as you can see, I'm not wearing any makeup, which means I'm gonna try and do a makeup look today. So, the whole family is in the house, so I'm, I might be a little bit quiet, but because I'm self conscious, you know what I'm saying? So, I ordered some stuff off uh, Pat McGrath because she had a, a sale on 25% or something. And I really wanted to try the foundation, so I got that. And then I realized I do have some of her stuff, and um, so today I wanted to attempt one of her looks. So I saw this online. I'm gonna zoom in anyway, but uh, like I think I might have the color, so I'm excited. I, I really want to try this, so let's go. I always start with eyes first, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna carry on doing the same thing that I normally do, always eyes first. If you can see, uh, that is a balloon saying hot stuff. My husband got it for Valentine's Day. So I'm going to prime my eyes first. I got a uh, MAC Paint Pot in Lane Low. I do need a base. I know some people can just put, um, what's it called, just concealer and powder on and it stays, but it don't work for me. I still got eczema on my eyelids too, so just putting it all over, all the way up to my brows. And in the inner corner, outer corner. A little bit underneath. So to set this, I'm gonna need like a nude shade for my eyelid, but I don't have anything from Pat McGrath that's matching to that color. So my sister got a while ago got me the Artist Couture Supreme Nudes palette. I've never used it, so I don't think I even swatched it. So I think I'm gonna use these two shades, stripped and exposed. Sorry, exposed and then stripped. I'm gonna use this e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. I like this because it's fluffy and it's big, so it just it just goes on nicely. So I zoomed in a bit. You can see all my flaws and shit, but you can also see my eyes now. <laughs> That's the eyes done. I might actually do the crease with... Start with Transcend. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Transcend. And then I'll see how much dark I want to go. I'm using the same brush, by the way. So transcend in, in the crease, just blending it out. I'm blending it upwards, of course. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go a little bit darker. I'm gonna try the nudist shade here. Oh, sorry, that one. That one. I'm using the same brush still. I'm just gonna start on the outer corner. Okay, that's making it a little bit darker now. I hope you can hear me. I'm pretty sure I plugged it in properly. Just flicking it out a bit. So we're going to try and keep the darkness on the outer corner anyway. But next up we're going to use that shade there, which is called Mink. Still the same brush? Oh, okay, that's, that's a lot darker. Picked up a bit too much there. Okay, now I'm using the Morphe, I don't know, it's a Morphe brush. I can't make out the, I can't make out the name, so. It's clean and I've not put any further product in, I'm just going to use it to blend out. Just kind of working from the outside corner in. So I'm using the same brush again, just wiping off all the excess, and then I'm going to try and put that transcend color back over everything, just to kind of tie it together. So as you can see, I took it all the way up to my brow bone. There's like just a tiny little line. Just blend that all out. If I need more darkness, I will put it up. I have put more on. So I think I'm done with this shade. I mean, with this palette, it's it's so nice. It's so creamy. Sorry, no, I spoke too soon. So according to the picture, she has quite a nice highlight on. So I think I'm gonna use the shade Lavish in uh, with my MAC 224 brush, which is super old. I got this like when I first started doing makeup. Uh, okay, so la is it Lavish? Yeah. So let's just put that here. So when the light hits, you can see that. I feel like the two pictures are different to each other. Maybe I'm just getting it wrong. We'll see. For the fun part, the red color. I think I'm gonna use this shade. I'm just gonna take this basic eyeshadow brush just to pack the color on. Wow. I think it's that shade, you know. I didn't even look up what shade it was, but I'll check it later. So it's quite defined. It wasn't like 
um, what's it called, just uh, blend it out. I feel like I have more eyelid space than the girl in the picture. Or maybe I'm doing something wrong. Actually, I'm going above my crease. <laughs> Let's just see how it goes. This eczema is such an issue, like, you can see where it just collects all the eyeshadow in one area. Now I'm just gonna take this brown shade from the other palette, the Ecstasy Sublime pal palette, and then blend it in. So I'm using this Morphe one. Let's see. So I'm just keeping it in the outer corner. All these Pat McGrath videos, just she just swooshes, she's just like, does that, and it's like so perfect, and I just can't figure it out. I don't know why the camera is not picking it up as how it is on here in real life. I'm gonna use my 224 brush again, and I'm gonna use the sh oh sorry, this shape right here. And go over it. Oh, here we go. <laughs> that is so uh, gold. I can't see the outer corner too much on the picture. It seems like there is no eyeliner, just a dark shadow. So I'm gonna use the mink shade. So yeah, I'm, it looks like it's brown. So I'm gonna use the mink shade with my Morphe M431 brush. It looks like this. And uh, try and recreate a semi kind of wing not wing sorry just define it just in the outer corner sorry just there I'm just gonna pull this out words now she has a strong gold inner corner highlight and so for the inner corner highlight I'm gonna use this gold shade I think it's called gold standard I'm gonna use that same brush. I just wiped off all the extra bit. Let's try. Ooh, nice. Kinda tempted to put some just here. Still looks a mess right now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Maybe I dropped my laptop there. So just to clean up, I'm just gonna use a cotton round. with a bit of toner on there. And swipe, make it sharp. See, that just makes things easier. I don't know if the camera cut out when I did it, but I did clean up the outer corners. So I'm gonna take this black coal pencil from Autograph. Never tried it before, I'm just gonna put it here just to darken it up a little bit. And I'm blending it out with my uh, finger. So now I'm gonna put it in my waterline. I'm gonna tight line. Uh, so I bought this new mascara from MUA. It's waterproof. So I'm just gonna curl my lashes and put some on. I don't think the girl is wearing, the model is wearing any lashes, but I feel like I want to. So this is what the MUA one looks like. I define. Imagine if Pat McGrath watched this and she was just like, oh my god, she's doing it all wrong. So this is just with a little bit of mascara. Let's go ahead with the lashes. These are the lashes I'm gonna use. The lashes are big, huh? Just gonna quickly do my brows. So I'm gonna do my under eye uh, makeup after I've put the foundation and everything on, which I'm so excited about because I got the Pat McGrath foundation. I'm gonna start off with my Fenty Beauty primer. Oh, there we go. Just rubbing it everywhere. I'm just gonna put my um, Revolution uh, orange cor corrector just on my under eyes and around my mouth. Just gonna buff it in just a little bit. Just blending it out. I don't want to do too much because I still want to test out the how good the um, Pat McGrath is. Now, the star of the show. Look at the packaging. It's so pretty. So I got the shade um, Medium Deep 23. Ugh, so fancy. Oh my god, here it is. It's a glass bottle. It reminds me a lot of the Estee Lauder one. 
Sorry, Estee Lauder Double Wear. <sighs> I mean, it's, let's see. I've not tested it out whatsoever, so I'm just like, oh. Are you supposed to shake it? It's really liquidy. Whoa. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay. Uh, okay, I did not expect that. That's, that's, that's runny. I'm just gonna take my rattling foundation brush. I'm just gonna pick that up. <laughs> oh, I'm so nervous. Why am I nervous? Okay. Yo, is that my... Is, okay. It's a little orange. But this is... This would definitely be my summer color. Am I on crack? Why is this so... Let me shake it some more. Okay, so I took another pump. You won't believe this, but it cut out. It cut out everything. So, just to recap, I finished doing it. <laughs> doing the foundation. And then I added my concealer, which was the NARS concealer. Put some e.l.f. blush, cream blush on. Set it with my Makeup uh, Revolution banana powder with my under eyes. Uh, then I used the Mac Daddy, sorry, Club Daddy um, highlight, as you can see. And I did the bottom lash line. <laughs> what the hell? Well, I can't redo it because it's already done but I did the bottom lash line with mink and aesthetic and I put some uh, mascara on and that's it that's as much as I did there so I'm gonna go ahead with my lips before the camera cuts out again so I got the Pat McGrath lip gloss so I got her lip gloss in uh, the shade flesh astral falsy I'm just gonna put it on Okay, the lip gloss by itself ain't gonna cut it. So I'm gonna use one of her lipsticks. I got the mini set. I'm gonna use this shade, which is the Flesh 3 color. I just put it over the lip, the lip gloss, which is easy to blend. Oh, I need to hurry up before this stops. So I'm just gonna use a MAC lip liner in brown. And there we have it. I'm so sorry for rushing this because I didn't realize that my camera was gonna cut out and I've I need to figure this out properly but this is the look I hope I did it some justice let's see the eyes <laughs> it's close <laughs> now I have to do some aesthetic videos to add to it I just wanted to just play around with some makeup I have so much makeup that I've not used and I really need to play around with it and this is kind of out of my comfort zone because I don't use many colors a lot on myself uh, unless it's like an editorial shoot but that's on models right I'm just I just keep looking because I just want to make sure I'm recording so um, yeah this is this is it I hope you liked it and uh, if you have any requests let me know in the comments down below next week is my sister and yeah thank you so much for the love so far thank you don't forget to subscribe and like if you want to see more of us bye